everybody, it's Tommy again, and welcome back to Tommy Channels. Do you know what it is? Do you know what is this glowing in the darkness? Do you see what it is? Well, it is actually some type of thing that I use to sleep that is has my dream job. Do you know what is he? He is an astronaut and he is sitting on a moon and he is reading a book. Now, could you see an astronaut is actually my dream job. We're not in actual space. Do you know why we're not in actual space? Well, that is because I just turned off the lights. Now I've turned on the lights. Could you see now we're out of space? And when I turn off the light, we're in space. Just like that. Pretty cool, right, everybody? Now, could you see? When you sleep, how about you have this of your own? But maybe you can wait for Christmas, and if you're nice to everybody, maybe your teacher will give it to you. And this is this is the my Christmas present from Miss Ian, which is my science and English teacher at VASS school. But now I'm only studying online. And can you see this? Well, when you see this, what can you use it for? What can you use it for? Do you know what can you use it for? Well, as you could see, you could you could do it like this. Could you see? You put it like this, and I put you through your finger. Maybe imagine that your finger is like some sort of thing that will open some type of place of the bag. And when you open this and put that place in, then it's stuck. Then you can pull and pull and show people what you have done with your Christmas present. Now, what is your favorite dream job? My favorite dream job is being an astronaut. I'll show you why it's fun to be an astronaut. Ding, 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 ding. You can walk on the walls, you can walk on the ceiling, you can walk on the walls, just like Spider-Man. Like this. You can actually walk on the walls. And Kaz, you could see, do you know why you could walk on the walls even though you're not Spider-Man? That is because it has a less gravity. In space, the gravity is actually, the total mass of gravity is actually smaller than Earth. If, the, if, the, if something is bigger or maybe smaller, the gravity in it will change. On Jupiter, we cannot land on Jupiter. If you go a rocket down and strike Jupiter, you just go in hot water. Ow! And then the spaceship will burn. No ship can ever go through Jupiter. Because Jupiter inside is very hot. Like if you have a metal protect suit like Iron Man, you wouldn't be able to survive there either. That is because of the hot why it is so hot in Jupiter. Maybe it's hotter in, um, in the core of Earth. Just like that. And as you could see, there will be less gravity wherever it is out of, out of Earth. There will be less gravity. Have you ever went to the moon before? You can jump and then oof, oof. Your head, your head lands on Earth. Oof. Oof, just like that. Now, could you see? What can you imagine of the solar system? Well, the solar system starts with the sun, which is right here. This is the sun. Okay, everybody? This is Mercury, the smallest planet in the Milky Way. It has these tiny spots and these little circles where the meteorite has struck Mercury. The next planet is Venus, which is a slightly bigger but longer than Mercury. It is shaped like an asteroid and has these tiny 
spots. It had these tall mountains, giant volcanoes and stuff, and even something you might expect at, at a lava pit. And as you can see, when you learn about this, you remember to have your book open. Now, are you ready to move on with the third planet? That is the planet that you're on, Earth. Earth doesn't have any crackles or spots in it. Just has these crazy continents that have crazy shapes. Now, could you see continents on Earth have crazy shapes? Even though they are continents, there's the sea. Let me color in the sea so you could see the sea better. There, the Earth has seas. It has an ocean, like the Atlantic Ocean. There's seven seas, which means there are seven continents. The number of seas is like the number of continents. It's the seven seas, the seven continents. Those are the seas that we have in on Earth. Now, on Earth, you could see that on Earth, you'll have lots of types of places. Like on um, um, Mercury, you'll have volcanoes and stuff. And on Venus, you have um, maybe these tall mountains. Now, could you see the Earth is really big? The sea is pretty hard to color in. Now, could you see the sea of the Earth better? The Earth has seven seas. Join those seas together. If join half of a sea and one more half of a sea and one more sea together, we'll make an ocean like this. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is the Indian Ocean, and right here is the Arctic Ocean. So you could see. Now we're gonna move on with the third small, the fourth which is Mars. On Mars, you'll have these tiny spots and other types of meteorites. Now, well, next is the asteroid belt. Do you know what is the asteroid belt? It's like the solar system which is our Milky Way, is like a gigantic person. And the asteroid belt is like the belt of that person. You see, there are many theories about that, but actually it's just a belt of asteroids. This is the asteroid belt. Could you see the asteroid belt? Now, could you see the asteroid belt? The asteroid belt is between the normal small planet at the gas giants, the four other gas giants. Maybe um, maybe they are dwarf planets, which are smaller than the gas giants, but bigger than the normal, normal planets, like Pluto. Pluto is at least 100 feet tall, bigger than Earth. Means you have to walk in the sky until 100 meters, and that's the size of Pluto. Or you can tape Earth so it could look like Pluto. And color in the sea. And we have Jupiter. A very big type of a very big type of planet. Could you see Jupiter? Could you see Jupiter now? Jupiter is one is the biggest planet in the solar system. Our solar system. Not other alien solar system. Actually there aren't aliens in the world. And perhaps you won't know any of the planets that are outside your Milky Way. A long time ago, did you know why Pluto was kicked out of the solar system? Do you know why? It is because 
Pluto is so small and it couldn't clear the asteroid out of its way. So it was kicked away by, by Neptune because Neptune is the eighth planet in the solar system, which is the last planet in the solar system, the last gas giant. Now, are you ready to move on with the, with the second gas giant? The second gas giant is, do you know what it is? Well, the second gas giant is, as you know, Saturn. Saturn is a big like Jupiter, but it's a small circle. And on Saturn, we have rings. Some people say that it's because Saturn is like a fingernail and has a ring around it, but mainly Saturn's rings, they do not have actual rings. Those rings are made of the tiny ice balls, tiny asteroids, tiny fireballs that are made together in a giant ring around Saturn. That happened a long time ago when Saturn didn't have a ring. Then it was called, instead of putting turn, they just said Saturn. <laughs> a long time ago when the Saturn didn't have a ring. Turn is like the ring. And when they put turn in it, like Saturn, then it had the ring. When people found out it did have some plain wings. But on the on Saturn's wings, you can sit in it to watch TV or play video games on it. That is because it's not just the actual ring, but it is not land. It is actually the rocks. If you have Doraemon with you, maybe you could solve it. <laughs> Pretty awful. Now, what about the third gas giant? What is it? The third gas giant is Uranus. Now, what is the problem with Uranus and Neptune? Well, they have a lot in common. Uranus and Neptune now have big snowstorms that can last about a hundred years. And they both have big rainstorms, big ice storms, and even big blizzards. They both have the same in common. But what's worse is that on Neptune, there's a big white dot where an ice tornado is spinning around till today it has not stopped yet. But on Uranus, there are only normal storms, the storms that you would expect in winter or you not expect in winter. And as you know, that we've talked about those two, two planets, those two last gas giants, let's move on with one dwarf planet. Pluto. Why is it called a dwarf planet? Well, Pluto is way down here. Here are the lines. The lines of the orbit that each of the, the, the planets will go. Could you see? Here are the lines that each of the planets will go. Here is the line for Saturn. Here's the line for Uranus, and here's the line for Neptune. Here's the line for, as you know, Pluto. The line for Pluto sits far away in the dwarf planet. Now, why do we call it a dwarf planet? Well, it is smaller than the gas giants and the normal planets. Very small. It can't be fit in the normal solar system, so it's kicked away by Neptune. Because Neptune is like the eighth normal planet, the eighth um, gas giant. A long time ago, in maybe 1988, they've had Neptune as the ninth gas giant. But because it's gigantic and it does isn't made out of gas, so it's got kicked into the dwarf planets, not the normal planet because it's not big as the normal planets, and it's even smaller than Mercury and Mars. So that's why it is put on the dwarf planet. Now, do you know what does it take to be an astronaut? Well, when you be an astronaut, you'll have some training to do. When you train, I'll show you how to train. First, you need to put on 
uh, astronaut suit with lots of air on the back. Then you jump into the water. There's a broken machine underwater and you can fix the machine. You can fix the machine. As the way, like a space shuttle that is broken in space. Then you could fix the space shuttle like the way you fix the machine. Now, when you travel in space, make sure that the space shuttle doesn't have any problems. Do you know why? Well, if it does have any problems, it might explode. There are two stories about, about, um, and that two space shuttles that explode. One is before launching, and two is after launching. The second one is after launching. All six astronauts there have died, and even the teacher that got invited did. Now, could you see, it's a lot terrible, but um, maybe we could fix that now. Now they only got on space shuttles, not the International Space Station. On space stations, they had lots of food problems, lots of toilet problems. Even though in space it's boring, it could still be fun if you can still go to the toilet. Do you know why? Well, do you know? That is because in space, actually, those types of space, uh, international space stations have toilets attached to the bedrooms. And in the bedroom, you don't sleep in beds. We have lots of types of uh, maybe warm blankets on the wall. And then you jump up because of the um, low gravity. You don't have enough grab. You don't have enough gravity to stay right on the ground. You float up and then poof, your head goes into the sleeping bag. You can turn yourself over so you could sleep in the sleeping bag. Or there's even a cup holder beside the sleeping bag and the sleeping light in front of the door. So you could see, there's everything you need in the International Space Station. But sometimes, it could be a lot dangerous. So that's why it's probably good to go off and then have a relaxed holiday. It's taking a walk at the beach. Now, could you see, when we learn about astronauts today, astronauts are very important. Some things are like the creepiest creatures that astronauts even saw on camera, caught on camera. One is like a monster that doesn't have clothes and it is gray and it lives in a place where a meteorite struck down. That's one of the theories that people might have about aliens. But of course, they're not actual aliens in the world, but people think that. Maybe it's just a drama movie, not a real movie. There's also, if you see about astronauts, you could see that why people think of Dragon the Real or any other type of horror movie. But it's just a fiction, a drama movie. There's no such thing as dragons in the world. And as you could see, these astronauts that have been studying space for years, hundreds, thousands, billions of years, they have studied and have lots of information on your computer. And you can search a lot about those informations on your computer. And if you like this video about learning about astronauts and learning about this amazing solar system, which is eight planets, not including Pluto, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Corn Belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. There are many other dwarfs and even tiny planets that are even smaller than the Earth's core. The Earth's core is like sometimes like one feet taller than Mars because it's bigger than Mars, so the core had to be one foot taller. Because the core is way smaller. The core is like a big sphere. Big, hot, red, white sphere inside the earth. Without the core, you couldn't live. You couldn't have the sun to control the light because the core sends impacts out of the land. And it gets the air, the, the, the thermal, 
the exosphere of the atmosphere. The exosphere is the last layer of the atmosphere. It sends impacts to the exosphere, and the exosphere will create a giant air type of, a giant air type of, um, maybe a giant air type shield that protects the Earth from asteroids. And when the asteroids even manage to go through the exosphere shield, it will burn up and have a tail. After that, it is called a meteorite instead of an asteroid. Now, I'll ask you one question that you've never even known of before. What is it? Well, it is, what if Jupiter disappeared? What if Jupiter disappeared? Well, then Earth will be the target of all the asteroids in the world. Because if, if Jupiter's not there, there wouldn't be a giant umbrella protecting the Earth from the asteroids. Like, Jupiter is an alive planet and has a giant umbrella that will protect Earth from the rain meteorites. <laughs> And it might go through Jupiter's atmosphere too. And in Jupiter's atmosphere, it is a lot harder to go through than to step through. Now, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe me more at Studying English with Tommy for studying about the future and your dream job. What is your dream job? You can type in the comment below or you can make a video and see you next time.